Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Masya Allah, my friend. <laughs> Please come in. Come, come. Oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. welcome. How are you? Oh, fine, fine. My name is Akil Azlan. My name is Akil Elias. And for our role play, we are going to choose the Arabic culture. Ten facts about the Arabic culture. The famous fact about the Arabic culture is that the rich Arabic world consists of different communities, groups, and culture. And therefore, one can never talk about single Arabic culture. Such that differences are not only between countries but also within communities. It is impossible to talk about the group of people without making generalization about them. And by the same token, it is also impossible to talk of a culture won by a group of people without making generalization. Fact number one, which countries are Arabic countries? Arabic countries range from Morocco to North Africa and from there to the Persian Gulf. This region is also called the MENA, Middle, East and North African region. We can list the names of Arabic countries in the region as follows. Algeria, Bahrain, Comoros, Dijob Dijobut, Egypt, Iraq, Jordan, Kuwait, Lebanon, Libya, Morocco, Mauritania, Oman, Palestine, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Somalia, Sudan, Syria, Tunisia and United Arab Emirates and Yemen. Okay. What is the strategic importance of the Arabic world? The Arabic world which consists of 22 countries, hosts several faiths and people from many ethnic groups speak different languages and dialects. Approximately 60% of the world's oil reserves are located either in the Arabian Peninsula or very close to that region. Located in the Arabian geography, Saudi Arabia is the country with the highest oil reserve in the world. Third fact is, who is an Arab? There are more than 200 million of people who consider Arab worldwide. Being Arab is entirely determined by the cultural characteristic, regardless of a particular race or language. The fourth fact is, what are the most Arab common Arabic customs? To admit that you do not know something is unwelcome in the Arabic traditions. Constructive criticism can be viewed as insulting and caution should be exercised in this regard. Arabian women's styles of dressing necessitates them to cover their heads to show their respect even if they wear western costumes. The place of women in the Arabic society is so valuable that a man has to stand up when a woman enters the room. However, despite the respect shown and the distance kept from women in the Arabic culture, cannot benefit from many rights that men have in society. The family is at the heart of honor, devotion and reputation. In the Arabic and Islamic culture, men are the head of the family. You need to shake the hands of men you do business with. Be careful about not squeezing too tightly. It is important to build respect and trust before you start doing business with Arabs. Uh, the fifth fact, which days are the holidays in Arabic countries? Life and holidays are also under the influence of Islam in Arabic countries. The Arabic calendar is a lunar calendar in which one year consists of 12 months and 353 or 354 days. The holy day for Muslim is Friday. Although the holidays of Arabic countries vary across countries, the common holidays are of course, of course religious fasts and special days. These dates change each year since they use the lunar calendar. The next fact is, what are the prohibitions in the Arabic cuisine? Uh, because the Arabic culture and Islamic traditions are intertwined, uh, Arabs do not eat pork. Many carnivorous animals and sea animals without scales. Alcohol is one of the primary bans in Arabic countries. All the animals, all the animals they eat are slaughtered in accordance with the Islamic rules. Mutton is the most popular type of meat as per the uh, Arabic culinary culture and lifestyle. Grass are always offered snacks, tea or coffee, and refusing these offers is considered rude since they present their friendship and respect together with this. In the Arabic culture, it is more appropriate for you to pick up anything you are served with your right hand. The, the seventh fact is, what are Arabic dishes? Although Arabic food culture and Arabic cuisine are named differently across regions and countries, they are basically similar. Arabic dishes generally include plenty of spices and mutton and though foods are very common. To find out more about the Arabic 
cuisines, you can compare the recipes of the region you will visit with recipes in other regions. The eighth fact is, why is hygiene important in the Arabic culture? Personal hygiene is exceptionally important for Arabs, both in spiritual and practical terms because in the Arabic cuisine, Arabic dishes are usually eaten by hand and hands are always washed before eating. Face, hands and arms are also washed in accordance with the The ninth fact is, how are the structures of Arab houses? Arab houses can be one room or, or multi-room. In one room houses, the sleeping area is separate separated from the rest of the space by curtains. The roof of a typical Arabic house is flat. The walls are thick and light colored. Some houses are built in a way where some part of the house remains under the ground for protection from hot weather and people often sleep on the ground. The tenth fact is how does, men, how does the Arabic clothing culture differ in women and men? Arab men's clothing consists of a wide range of dresses from western style to to jeans. From t-shirts to traditional long dresses, Arab men's traditional long dress provide air flow, keeping the body cool and they protect themselves from the sun by covering their head. The Arabic attire is shaped, is shaped by Islamic rules and even more than that, by geographical and climate conditions. When it comes to Arabic women's clothes, devotion to traditional Arabic clothing varies from country to country, while Saudi Arabia is more dependent on traditions. Egypt is less dependent. Traditional Arabic women's clothes cover the whole body. Arabic women living in the countryside wear less dress, restrictive, lighter and looser clothes. In order to obtain information about Arabic women, research should be conducted based on the regions where they live and Arabic women's clothes should be evaluated accordingly. Recommendations on Arabic greetings and meetings to be held with Arabs. A quiet place away from distractive elements should be chosen. The first meetings are for talking about general issues. The Middle Easterners resist discussing on too many topics at the first meeting. The Middle Easterners are flexible about the time of the meeting. The delay is not perceived as a sign of disrespect. In the Arabic culture, meeting is done with men by shaking hands according to the order of seniority. And never attempt to shake hands with an Arab woman unless she reaches out to you. In the Arabic culture, giving gifts is suitable if the meeting takes place at home and the gifts must be packed. The package are not opened in front of the gift giver and the gifts offered must not be rejected more than twice for the sake of respect. Gifts should be given openly at the end of the meeting. With Saudi only recently opening up to international visitors, its beauty spots are only as recognizable or overrun as they perhaps deserve to be. The destination is home to Nabatian tombs of rival, Petra pristine dive spots, and that compete favorably with any of Egypt's and great canyons. They are awe inspiring as the well trodden ones populating several American national parks. The landscape is a diverse and a lead as the country's ancient trading culture which can be experienced in the souk of gleaming modern cities as well as the ground desert home of prophets and poets, princes and pilgrims. The ochre deserts of the north give away to the white sand atolls to the Red Sea coast and lush mountains and valleys of the southwestern Assyrian region, home to rare Arabian leopards and Katani tribesmen donning floral headdress. Much of the southeastern region is covered by the vast empty quarter, the world's largest sand desert, with the country eager to welcome British visitors once it's COVID safe to do so, you will find much a warmer welcome than in more weary destinations, but more to the point, staggering beauty that still feels as though you are uncovering a thrilling secret, here are 8 spots you shouldn't miss. Number 1. Wadi Al Disa Near Tabu in the north of the country, the Al Disa Valley look at an otherworldly mix of the Grand Canyon and Monument Valley, an epic collection of sandstone columns in the vast world, where the dusty embers desert is interrupted by a valley of swaying high grasses and palm trees. Whether you get in or foot by a four wheel drive, make sure to be here as the sun casts an ethereal glow over the sculptural rock. Number 2. Tagra. There are perhaps no more recognizable sites in Saudi than the monumental rock cut tombs suspended in the majestic desert at Hagra. Near Al Ula, in the heart of the kingdom, if these 131 enigmatic mausoleums recall the ancient ruins of Petra, that because they were built in the first century, 
by the Nabitians, the same nomadic warrior traders behind Jordan wonders of the world. But one Petra hosts more than a million visitors a year, Hagra remains relatively undiscovered, attracting more wildlife than tourists that might change in the next few years. Aman Banyan Tree <coughs> and Tulumbon habitats are among the hotel group's opening eco and heritage sensitive camps around what could be one of the big destinations of 20. The place is Umbut. It is not hard to see why this unassuming coastal town and region is often referred to as the Maldives of Saudi Arabia. To the north of the town, 104 atolls are scattered across a corner of the Red Sea that is most definitely turquoise. But the quintessential Umluch activity is an island hook spotting dolphins on the way to outcrops including Jabal Hassan to snorkel fish or lays on white sandbars. This is also a world-class dive area, much quieter than Red Sea hotspots such as Sharm Al Sheikh but with a technocolor boundary of 1,200 1, fish species and 300 types of coral. Sustainable resorts are under development on a selected few islands, but most of the area is a thrillingly untouched natural aquarium. Fourth place is Al Balad Jeddah. Many Saudi cities have a historic quarter, often called Al Balad and marked by the scent of exotic spices and the beautiful cries of the call to prayer. Balad in Jeddah, Saudi's cosmopolitan port city, is the most evocative of all. A series of tight alleyways between ancient coral stone mansions, houses, home to wood sellers, close scented traditional bakeries, and the vast glowing Sok Al Alawi. Since it's released, it was listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2014, many of the area's vast crumbling mansions have been sensitively restored, including the Grand 106 Room Nassif House, now a museum and cultural centre hosting art and photography exhibition as well as lectures by academics. Um, the fifth most beautiful places in Saudi Arabia is uh, the edge of the world. Just west of the capital Riyadh, the edge of the world, Jebel Fihrai, is another applied name geological wonder, a great towering wall of striated sandstone that rises um, improbably from the reddish plain of an ancient ocean bed. Best reached by four-wheel drive, there's an in, uninterrupted view from the top across the arid landscape, where wild camels can still be seen rambling across ancient caravan routes. Next, the six most beautiful places in Saudi Arabia is Diria. Few sites are more striking than the ancient desert city of Diria. Wrapped in the green oasis of Wadi Hanifa, just outside Riyadh, it was once a hotbed of, of culture, a historic crossroads for pilgrims and traders throughout the centuries, and the ancestral seat of the royal dynasty. Today, Tiria's museum, such as the spectacular Salwa Place, delve into the citadel's historic past, dotted around its magnificent mud, mud brick architecture and lining, its palm fringe avenues, restaurants and coffee shops, also not too tradition with nicely plates such as uh, such as Jerry's Bilaban, cracked wet cooked in a yogurt sauce. The seven most beautiful places in Saudi Arabia is Al Karah Mountain, Al Asa. Brushing the eastern edge of the Sharqa Plateau, Al Karah remains one of the kingdom's desert known destinations despite its raw beauty. A majestic stretch of sand blasted caves and canyons sculpted over millennia are best viewed from the summit of Al Karah Mountain, which rises 670 feet above sea level. Remember up its limestone cliffs punctuated with a warren of honeycomb caves, nooks, and passageways to explore along the way for rewarding panoramic views. The place names here reveal a deep reverence for nature and the elements that have shaped the character and traditions of this region as generously as its landscapes. al Asa translates as murmuring streets and the main city of of whistling wind. Palm tree farms and picturesque villages surround the mountains. There are mess of artisanal shops and restaurants offering a shady refuge. The eight most beautiful places in Saudi Arabia is Rijal Alma. 
widely referred to as the gingerbread village, Nijan Almas blocky stone buildings with bright shutters deep within a lush, golden setting and have long been an attraction for travelers seeking rich culture and history. But it's more than a beauty spot, most of the residents are from the Kahtan tribe, best known for the bright outfits and floral crowns worn by men and celebrate and celebrate at the Flower Man Festival every August.